Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Safari Mac, where I am your guide and host, helping you make connections to the wild. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just joining me from American Black Bear Part 2, then you know that today we're just going to take a few minutes and uncover how we can learn to live safely around black bear, around bears in general. But if you haven't seen American Black Bear Part 2 yet, be sure to go watch that first and then come back and join us for this special episode. Now, as we speak, human urbanization continues to spread across North America, and as a result, as a result, natural habitat is being lost, and as and as further result, animals are having to learn to live in the human man-made environments. And this can lead to confrontations as well as challenges in which we have to learn how to live with our local wildlife. So it, stick with me and we'll uncover how we can learn to sa live safely around bears. But if, you're, but if you're ready, I'm ready, let's begin. For starters, what can I tell you about bears? For starters, as we know, bears are intelligent, they're strong, they're powerful, and when they are cornered or when they're threatened, they can be very dangerous. But something we need to remember, just because they are they can be dangerous, the truth is they are they have a lot more cause to be afraid of us. If anything, they would prefer to stay as far away from us as possible. So let's just figure out this little scenario. First of all, you're out in the middle of the trail and you're just hiking, you know, just a casual walk, and all of a sudden you see a bear. Now, first of all, if the bear immediately runs away from you, that's good. That means the bear has retained its natural instinct of staying away from humans or has very, had very little contact with people. But now, that's not always the same scenario or it doesn't always end in that way. There are actually three, meth three things, that, there are a few meth scenarios that can happen. And let's explore a couple, a few of them. One. If it charges you, it's possibly because it's a female and that she has cubs that are hidden nearby and that she poses you as a threat. Two, if the bear just casually walks up to you, that means it's lost its fear of you because it's been fed by people, which by the way, is a big no-no. You can face jail time for this. Or three, the worst case scenario, it charges right at you, which in which if you're not prepared or if you don't know what to do, an attack is unavoidable. Now obviously, all this is bad. So here, as we've now covered some of the scenarios as well as maybe a one or two triggers, let's see about, let's continue on and see what we can do to reinstill fear of us into their instincts. Now a special note though, just because a bear might be in your backyard, especially if you're living out in the estates area, it doesn't mean that it's in immediate danger. If it's just casually walking by or if it's just doing what it's foraging around, then that's okay because, you know, you're sharing their habit, they're sharing your habitat as you are sharing yours with them. So, you know, I mean, it, it happens. It makes for some interesting news stories. But now there... The, probably the biggest thing that we need to do immediately, with you would think, would be to immediately call the FWC. But like I said, if it's just casually hanging out, then there's really no need to do it just yet. But if it's staying around, and if, or if it poses as a serious threat to you, your family, or your pets, then that's a problem. But let's take a look at some of the triggers. Probably the biggest trigger right now, food. Bears need to eat. And so as a result, bit bears are coming a little too close to people. What's one form of food that's outside? If you have pets and you feed them outside, pet food can be a major draw. So what do we do about this? Simple. You just remove the pet food and bring it inside or start feeding your pets inside as well as keeping your pets inside because sometimes bears can attack pets or worse, they can attack livestock. And as a result, this is where the farmer will, would decide to, to rather shoot the bear. But before you go, go and get yourself ready to unfortunately kill this animal, we need to look at how we can keep, keep them away from us. One, you just have to reinforce your, where you're keeping your livestock. So if you're putting them in a pen at night or if you've got a chicken coop, just make it predator proof. Just re, reinvent, you know, make it stronger. Electric fences can sometimes help. Though sometimes, though it doesn't always work, eventually the bear might figure a way around the electric fence. But now, what else? 
A useful tool that some people use to keep bears away is a thing called bear deterrent or bear spray. But I would just like to point something out. This is not the same as pepper spray. It acts similar to pepper spray, but pepper spray and bear spray do not work in the same measure. So be sure to be careful with making sure that you get exactly bear deterrent so that you can keep yourself as well as your loved ones safe, on, especially if they're on your property. Now, here I'm about to tell you an unexpected draw to your backyard or into your neighborhood. Are you ready for this one? Garbage cans. How many times, if you live with bears, how many times has this happened to you where a bear is rummaging or foraging through your garbage? Why are they doing this? In nature, bears are trying to look for as much food as possible without having to expend as much energy as possible. So, just similar to that of a log that might underneath contain a lot of maggots or grubs or other insects that the bears could eat and get a good source of protein, our garbage cans are like a sitting buffet for these creatures. But now, what else? why else are they brought to these things? Their sense of smell. Yeah, sure, we humans have a pretty good sense of smell, but a dog's sense of smell is only seven times more powerful than that of humans, and yet even a bear's no sense of smell because they rely on this sense for hunting or traveling due to their poor eyesight and only fair hearing. Their sense of smell is actually 2,100 or 2,100 times more stronger than a human. So what might smell bad to us it smells like something completely different to a bear. Now, thankfully, there is a solution. Bear-proof garbage cans. If you want to learn more about how, if you want to learn how to order a bear-proof can or learn how they work, then you could check out the links down below, which I will, which I have saved for you, so that you can take a look at how they work and where you could find, buy one. I've also left down in the link, in this comment section below. Um, some links on how, on the different types of bear of methods of keeping bears away from your property. But here I want to make another note. Now you might go with one specific deterrent, like maybe it's an electric fence, or maybe it's a, an alarm with lights or sound or water. Do yourself a favor. Don't settle for just one method. Do as many different methods of keeping bears away from you as possible because eventually, like I said, these animals are pretty smart. They'll figure out a way to get around a certain method and therefore by continuously mixing it up, you are in a sense winning this chess match by always staying three to four steps ahead of your opponent. In this case, the bear. Now let's take a look at how bears, what you need to do if you're out in nature on their own turf. Now. What do you think is probably the worst thing that you can do if you see a bear out in nature? Running away. Don't do it. Because doing so triggers an instinct to chase after you. Bears are predators as well. Being omnivorous, they're also active predators. Running triggers their impulse to chase you because every predator can never resist a moving target. So now, what can we do to keep these animals from attacking us? Simple. Wave your arms around. Make yourself look as big and as powerful as possible. They don't want to. They don't want to come near you. Use your bear spray. Spray it only when it seems like they're getting just way too close. And probably the best thing as well before you do all that. Make yourself heard. Just go casually, every now and then, just casually go, hey bear, or wear something that makes some noise so that the bears know, hey, there's humans in the area. We better get, away. We better get out of here while we can. So in conclusion, folks, these animals don't want to cause us any problems, but, they, but we need to learn how to be more actively safe and be smarter about how we deal with these animals. Because remember, they were here first, and they're only doing what they have to to survive. If you can do all these things, then you are really keeping yourself safe, and you can continue living your life to the fullest, as well as helping these animals thrive. Well, until next Saturday, folks, this is Safari Mac. I'll see you all out there, and thank you for joining me today.